Thanks to the border crisis, every year tens of thousands of people come across our border illegally, and they come into our desert along the U.S. and Mexico border. The fragile ecosystem in the desert is damaged by this, which has all been known for a very, very long time. So if you care about the vir environment, you'd care about that. And yet anyone who raises alarms is called names and criticized. The reality is that uh, common sense says when you have um, tremendous trafficking, ad hoc trails, uh, trash, debris, and fires, you have a lot of damage to native vegetation, uh, wildlife, and to the ecosystem. I'm Don McDowell with HuntingFishing.com. And uh, we have focused on the desert environment, both on uh, Don McDowell Outdoors and on our website, HuntingFishing.com. You know, we've been to the border um, three different times since uh, 2017 with Arizona Game and Fish Department and the U.S. Uh, Customs and Border Patrol to document this des devastation left by the illegals, both in drug trafficking, human trafficking, and uh, UDAs uh, coming across. Um, I, I went down and personally uh, inspected a number of sites on the border, and the reality was that where we put a wall, we have habitat restoration. The area everyone, including CBD, uh, focuses on, and that's the uh, Center for Biological Diversity, is in southern Arizona, which incorporates some of the most beautiful national parks in this country, covering almost 3 million acres and a border that stretches uh, 680 miles. Uh, a, a huge percentage, I think at least half of the wildfires, of the fires along that border are caused by people here illegally. That's right. Environmental groups don't say anything about that. They don't. Why don't they? The introspective we gain working with the Border Patrol provides insights to their work, ethics, and how they deal with the illegal entry and drug trafficking. Clearly, they know their job, and clearly, they treat all illegals with respect and dignity. Uh, whether they're traffickers, coyotes, or uh, the drug trafficking continues. Although we were on a uh, part of a uh, drug arrest, we also watched the cartel on the other side of the border watching us. <laughs> Do the math on that one. Uh, ad hoc trails, debris, are extraordinary in the, um, in the magnitude uh, that they have on the public lands. And the public lands, we have wilderness areas that have essentially been destroyed by um, illegal activity. The environmentalists ignore the invasion of these illegals, which destroy the landscape because of their defiance against President Trump. The border wall has shown it stops the destruction of this pristine environment. We have witnessed and documented this destruction firsthand. The Air Club just sits there and says nothing is that happens. Radio silent. Uh, re recognition that we need to have common sense solutions, uh, solutions that are real, and solutions that will lead to results. We don't claim to have all the answers, but we've witnessed firsthand the devastation. The biggest offender, in my opinion, is the Center for Biological Diversity, the CBD, who continues to post comments that echoes the response to the pragmatic view of the obvious. Right behind them are the NGOs like the Sierra Club that has the same marching orders as the CBD. They just don't get it. No wall means continued devastation, more drugs in this country, breaching national security and putting our citizens and families at continued risk. And you know, we've, we've been talking about this, uh, like, like I said earlier, since 2017. And the, the biggest problem that we have, the Democrats, the left wings, or the environmentalists, they don't get it. We only have one Sonoran Desert on the planet. It's in Southern Arizona. There is only one Oregon Pipe National Monument. It's in Southern Arizona. There's only one. We own that. There's only one Cabeza Prieta on the border, Southern Arizona. We own it. And, and here's what's happened, folks. In the desert, uh, we have an awful lot of wildlife, and they, they live in the uh, flats of the desert, the low-lying, rolling hills, and in the mountains, and there's game trails all over the place. And, and uh, what happens? The uh, UDAs, the drug travelers, the coyotes get on these game trails. They become foot trails. Pretty soon, here comes the uh, CVP. God love them doing their job. They're on ATVs, and uh, they go after these guys, try to catch them. And, uh, that game trail that became a foot trail just became an ATV trail. 
continuing their work in uh, with the Border Patrol. Pretty soon here comes the SUVs on the ATV trail that used to be a foot trail that originally was a game trail, and there you have it. We've got a two-track that will be here for several hundred years. This is an extremely delicate environment. What they don't tell you about is, CBD and uh, Sierra Club is, Oregon Pipe National Monument uh, was closed for about five years. Why, you might ask? Because it was trashed. Uh, the roads were trashed, the desert was trashed, uh, you know, with garbage, uh, foot trails, and this, that, and the other thing. And, uh, you know, there was so much trafficking going on, they they couldn't uh, couldn't do anything with it, so, so they shut it down. And uh, it took a while to get it cleaned up, and, you know, we're, we're back in business. Uh, CBD's done a great job. Uh, there's some designated roads for, for patrols, and it's just, uh, just really awesome right now. So... You can follow along with us on huntingfishing.com. Catch us on Dog McDowell Outdoors on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, we'll be happy to keep you informed as we move along with the Trump administration, DOI, Border Patrol, Bureau of Land Management, trying to clean up southern Arizona. We need the wall. I'm Dog McDowell. Take your kids fishing. Hug your basketball, man. We'll see you next time.